back in Toronto and we are at Bloomer's Donuts on Queen Street and here's something interesting. Apparently they are 100% vegan donuts so we're going to take the healthy approach to donuts this week. Check it out! Alright folks, so we are in from a chilly walk and today we went to Bloomers on Queen. And as I mentioned before, these are vegan donuts so you can rest assured that no animals were harmed in the filming of this donut review. We have three candidates from the ones that you saw. Okay, so we will start as usual since I already had one this morning with the London Fog. This is heavy. Holy crap. So you can definitely tell like this is filled with whatever this is filled with and it is heavy. It looks like it's like dripping out. So we've got some coating. Look, I can barely even hold it. It's already sinking. All right, so let's just get into it. Oh my God. Anyway, it's like super, super filled with stuff. I'm not gonna lie. This stuff, ugh. this is a really heavy donut. This is like super sugary. This literally cannot hold itself. It's like gonna bust out. It's like a little Prager donut. It looks like a, looks like a spaghetti cream sauce inside with just pepper and stuff. It's very sweet. I can't even get to taste what the donut's like cause it's super sweet. So I'm not, I'm not even gonna take a second bite of that. That one is gonna get a cruelty-free 6.3. Like it's, okay, so we're just, we're just moving on. Okay, next up, which I'm kind of excited about is the Ferrero Rocher. Also stuffed like crazy, but seemingly able to hold its own. Um, at first glance, it's not as nice as the other ones. Like it looks like, it does have the hazelnuts and it's got the chocolate and I love the chocolate, so I'm not gonna hate on it, but we've got some pretty high standards for the Ferrero Rocher donuts. So let's see, I kinda wanna just eat the meal part. It's like a chocolate frosting, so meh. All right, but let's give her, let's get one with like lots of nuts and chocolate in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sufficient filling for sure. It's like front to back and stuff. These are just full disclosure. We did have a cinnamon roll prior to this review, but I didn't review it, and that was really good. So I was kind of excited about these, but they're falling short for me. The fillings, although it's a lot, it's really sweet, and it almost tastes like a like a store-bought icing, kind of, like in a grocery store. So again, not really exciting. I'm gonna actually move this one down. This old one now is like, like a five, seven. This, like, I don't even, I don't wanna talk about this one because this one is like a six one. Like, it's just not, like, I wouldn't come back. I wouldn't eat this. I wouldn't, even if I was like starving, I might eat dirt first before this. That's harsh, but I wouldn't pick that again. Okay, let's see if the third time's a charm. This one is a raspberry pistachio cheesecake donut. Um, to be fair, the donut part, the donut parts are okay, but um, again, like I can't even taste anything because there's so much stuff in it and on it and whatever. So uh, it looks like this is cream filled as well. I'm not gonna have to bite too far, I don't think, um, but I'm wary about this frosting and we'll see what happens here. I have hope for the pistachio though. Let's see. I mean, slightly better than the, slight, ugh. slightly better than these, but again, like not, 
noteworthy. The, the icing isn't too sweet, but then it's got like a raspberry like kick to it. So it's a little bit sour, which is fine. It's just hitting me like after these two. Again, stuffed to the brim with, I don't know what, I don't even know what this is. You know that carrot cake frosting that's like delicious and it's like creamy and it's really good. I think that's what it's trying to be, but it's not happening. This again, is just some fruity, weird, soury glaze. Don't really get pistachio taste other than this. So this is like um, marginally better than these. So I'm gonna go six, six, four. So uh, bloomers is a bit of a doomers uh, for this week, but post review take one. Okay, I'm just gonna do an addendum to my video. Like, I just like squished it. Like, look how much stuff is in there. It's gross, look. Oops, and it's like oily. Like all this stuff is in there and like it's, I wanna revoke my original rating. It's super gross. I'm making like a, let me make it like a two, three. So gross. Post review take two. I mean, it's proportioning is everything. Look at, look at how much stuff is here. Like, it's like way too much, way too much. Like you should have like this much filling. Even that's a little pushing it. Yeah, look how much, look at this. Look how much we squeezed out of this one. We squeezed out all of that. It's too much. A, it's not good filling. B, they put too much of it. This is gross. Post review take three. You know what it is? Bloomers was like had high ratings, but you know what it is? It's because they're vegan donuts. Vegans have never even had a real donut, so they don't even know what a good donut tastes like, and that's why this is rated so high. around like a